Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to be installing Windows 10 Virtual Machine using Oracle's Virtual Box. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got to create an ISO file for Windows 10. Go to your browser and search Windows 10 Download and find the link that actually mentions the ISO file. There you're going to be able to download what's called the installation media. It's going to be uh, an executable that's actually going to create this ISO image for us. So go ahead and download that. Whenever it's downloaded, turn it on, and then you're going to be able to click that second bullet point, and um, it's going to automatically configure to whatever the machine is that you're running it on. Just make sure you pick ISO. Put it in a spot that's going to have enough room. As you can see there, it's a pretty big file. So uh, make sure you've got plenty of room for wherever you put it. You will be able to delete it later. What ha what's happening with the ISO file is it's installation media, right? It's Windows 10, just like maybe you would buy from, uh, from, from a store on a disk, but it's a virtual disk that has that image on it. So what you're going to see later is we're going to mount this ISO file on a virtual machine that's going to install it. So once that's created, now we need VirtualBox. So go again to your browser, search VirtualBox. Um, it's going to be by Oracle again, so make sure you're going to their URL. There's going to be downloads there. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to download the Windows machine platform package for uh, VirtualBox. And once that's downloaded, I'm going to run that executable, and I'm going to install it. It's a pretty standard install. Um, just pick the location you want, knowing that you know these VMs can get big. Uh, you do get to pick where you want the uh, the storage for the VMs to be, but I generally like to keep it all in the same drive, just um, just to keep it simple for myself. So um, go ahead and uh, set all that up. Click next. Um, allow any of the interfaces, you know, so that uh, your internet carries over. Um, you can do uh, your mouse, your USBs carry over, things like that. Uh, once that's finished, go ahead and click finish and allow it to start up so we can go ahead and look at it together and um, get Windows 10 installed. All right, so what we've got here is the VirtualBox Manager. This is where all your VMs are gonna be. Since we don't have any yet, we're installing one, we wanna go ahead and we wanna press New. I'm gonna name this one Windows 10 because that's what we're installing. Here is where I'm changing the location of where that VM is going to live. I'm going to put it on my D drive and it's going to be the same place that I, uh, that I store the virtual storage as well. Now it's asking for the ISO image. If you remember, that's what we created at the beginning of this video. So go out and grab that ISO image and then that's going to auto populate uh, the rest of it there. We are going to want to check this box. Uh, then click next. Here is where you're going to um, allocate memory and space so you can do different customizations there um, I'm not gonna get too in-depth about what's best practice and, and how to set this up I normally just keep it to the standard unless I'm doing something extra special now you get a summary page and you can go ahead and click uh, finish and now it is ready to go so when you click start what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up just like when you first open uh, your laptop and you're installing Windows, right? That's exactly what it's doing with that ISO file. It's gonna install straight from there. So let's take a look at Windows 10 install configurations and how we can get it on here for free. All right, so again, it's just gonna be just like your typical Windows uh, startup. We're doing it for free. So we don't have a product code, right? So I just click don't have a product key. Then I'm going to select this Windows Home, very top one. I click Install, and I click I Accept. And I go ahead, and I'm going to go and do a custom install. So that way it's not trying to bring over any files or anything because I don't have that. Because, again, it's a fresh start. It's just an ISO. Here you're going to select the drive you want to format. And now you're going to go through your typical Windows 10 installation settings. Nothing new here. Um, there's nothing fancy you have to do here. I'm just going to create an account just a random account uh, to use during this installation um, With a random uh, birthday a random backup email address Random pin right? I'm gonna um, turn off all of this data collection. It's going to go through its uh, install um, Again just your typical Windows 10 install once that's done, you're going to be greeted with the Windows 10 
uh, desktop and then you're good to go. Hey y'all, thanks for watching uh, the video today. I hope I was able to help you get your Windows 10 machine, uh, virtual machine installed on VirtualBox. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, John is Average is all about taking technology and uh, making it easy, making it easy for the average person just like myself. So thanks for watching.